<laughs> Sophia! Ma, what are you doing here? You know you're not supposed to leave the home. You're still recovering from that stroke. What recovering? I'm back 100% knock wood. Come in. <laughs> Just listen. We are throwing a surprise birthday party for Blanche. I want you to go out to the lanai and mingle with the other guests. Check. What's a lanai? <laughs> the porch. Excuse me, Crystal Carrington. <laughs> Blanche is going to be surprised. It's lucky I accidentally found out today's her birthday. Oh. Blanche, what's wrong? Nothing. I just want to go soak in a hot bath and forget all about today. Oh, okay. No. Uh, well, girls, I know we haven't lived together very long, but see, when I come home mad like this and say nothing's wrong, then it's up to you to draw what's really wrong out of me. Blanche, what's wrong? Nothing. Okay. Oh, all right, all right, quit badgering me. <laughs> I didn't want to tell you this, but today's my birthday. Today's your birthday, Blanche? Today? Dorothy, did you hear that? Today's Blanche's birthday. And I hate birthdays. And she hates birthdays. Only thing I hate worse than birthdays is surprise birthday parties. What did I get when I walked into work today? A surprise birthday party. Oh, I was so upset I almost threw up. <laughs> did you hear that, Dorothy? Surprise parties make Blanche want to throw up. <laughs> Honey, why don't you go and take that bath and we'll just forget the fact that, you know, that today is really your birthday. Well, I don't see how anybody can hate birthdays. Well, because they are constant reminders that with each passing year, our bodies begin to sag, our faces begin to wrinkle, our hair begins to turn gray. Of course, none of that's happened to me yet. <laughs> but it's only a question of time until I'll end up looking like the two of you. <laughs> Blanche, you keep that up. You won't have that much time left. Hi, Blanche. Sophia, what are you doing here? I'm here for your surprise birthday party. Uh, <laughs> not what? What? You didn't. Of course we didn't. Ma, there's no party. Maybe I should take you home now. Hmm? Where am I, Francis Farmer? I know what I saw. There's a party out there. Blanche, I guess we made a mistake. Honey, look, we'll cancel the party. We'll send everybody home and forget that the whole thing ever happened. Roger. Edgar, Bert, Leonard, well, what are they all doing here? I invited everybody in your address book. <laughs> the little red one by my nightstand? No, the little black one next to your hot body oil dispenser. <laughs> Wait a minute, fellas, now no need to rush off like this. It is my birthday. Who wants to be the first one to spank me? <laughs> That turned out to be some evening, oh, didn't it? it sure <laughs> did. You know, from that <laughs> night on, I learned to love surprise parties. <laughs> it kind of reminded me of a party back in St. Olaf when I was a little girl. <clears throat> Big Sven and Little Sven were celebrating the first anniversary of their smoked herring hoagie house. <laughs> when Big Sven... I'll get it. it. It's my cake, Sven. Back, I'll get it. Ma, that looks like a cookie. Sophie, honey, I think you put too much rum in it. So stick an umbrella in it and serve it with straws. Everyone will think they're a trade of Vicks. <laughs> well, let's take it in the living room. Roberta's gonna be here any minute. Oh, I just hope she's really surprised. That's the best part of a birthday, when you're really surprised. Surprise! surprise! <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Blanche. My birthday's not till next week. Uh, we uh, know. But you said after the last time, we'd never be able to surprise you again. <laughs> we figured this is the only way to do it. Oh, you really did a great job. I don't know what to say. Say, it's conga time. 